Leo, Leo Sun, Leo Moon, Leo Rising. This is going to be a love reading, quick reading for Leo. So if you have any insights, you have been really itching and irking spirit to provide. This is your reading, Leo. So wherever your placements have brought you here to my Leo reading, this message is for you. Let's start off with prayer. Spirit, Holy Spirit, ancestors of the highest white light, of love, of dignity, of honor here for the ancestry lineage of Leo. I ask that you come forth and safely guide and guard me on the energies here for my royal, kingly, queenly, royal Leos here. Powerful Leos. What's the energy? Ooh, I just saw the lover's card literally poke out, which doesn't always happen where I really see it, but the lover's card poked out and this is your love reading. So spirit, what do we have for Leo here on Leo's quick love reading here? All righty, Leo. So we have the Queen of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy. This could be significant energy to you, but the Queen of Swords speaks of being in deep thought here, really offering detachment to yourself as a gift so you can truly make the right decisions moving forward here. I'm picking up on love not even truly being something you're focused on as much these days, Leo, because with the Five of Swords here, I'm getting that shit's for the birds. And I say this because love is not for the birds, but maybe this situation, this person, or these negative energies you've been dealing with consistently, you have you now have this clarity that you no longer have to be keeping that type of noise or static energy in your life here because there's shifts happening. We've got the wheel here. The wheel of fortune represents karma and the shifts it takes here to clear it. The shifts it takes here to move it, to move energy here. I'm getting, Leo, that you're entering a path of dharma. This could specifically be for Leo moons and uh, Leo Risings is what I'm picking up. You could be on a path of Dharma and actually this reading is picking up on self-love here. Leo, you're showing up. Could be picking up on a masculine Leo as well or somebody in their masculine element here. King of Wands is Leo energy, but it could be Sagittarius and Aries here. Got Nine of Cups. And we've got Eight of Pentacles here. Alrighty, Leo, so I'm picking up on is you've been dealing with some sort of Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, and or you could be a Leo dealing with another fire sign, another Leo, another Sagittarius, or another Aries, or these could be their, their placements and their energy and their field here. But nonetheless, I'm dealing with two specific energies. One energy that is in deep thought and trying to move forward here to create a beautiful picture for themselves, a beautiful life for themselves. And I, th this is someone that doesn't want picture perfect. The Queen of Swords is the type of person with the air ele element and the air mind here. This is somebody that really doesn't want to make time go by without truly being invested emotionally. So what am I saying here? What I'm saying is... You know, whoever I'm speaking to, that this Queen of Swords energy here has been hiding away their emotions for a very long time in deep thought here because they don't want to waste any time anymore. This Queen of Swords does not want to waste their time. I'm picking up on the energy, Leo. Uh, this Five of Swords here is giving me the energy when someone is in your ear more so belittling you than picking you up because this is energy of stress, struggle, and negative transitions within the mind here. But things are shifting regardless, Leo. You've done a lot of good in the past here, so much so that the scale has tipped over and you're only going to be receiving abundance if you align yourself with it you have to tap into the energy of abundance you have to truly dive into not only the clarity but you have to dive into this power you have here and if you are dating another fire sign or there's some sort of fire sign energy here i am picking up on one thing they don't have an issue with is money or knowledge this isn't bad energy because we got nine of cups here, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio here. 
even though Leo, you know you are done worrying, you are done with energies that don't serve you. You now know what's gonna trump anything that has ever come against you in the last few months, especially financially, especially emotionally. It's going to be replenished. It's going to be rebuilt. And I'm hearing revamped and reframed here. Reframe is a big word for Capricorn season, especially because there's a lot of retrograde energy going on, Leo. So it's important to truly understand where retrograde energy is affecting your houses in your birth chart here. I'm not saying becoming a professional in astrology. What I'm saying, Leo, is understand where energy is working in your favor and also where you need to put in the work here to keep achieving. And picking up on a king of wands, this could be you or this could be who you're dealing with. Who is a strong and protective energy here. Definitely somebody who does not play with wearing the red here in the root chakra. This is a very powerful person. They don't have to have physically a beautiful body necessarily, but they have a beautiful essence to their body. It's almost as if seeing a Leo's body or seeing the energy of a king of wands body, they give the energy of fire. It almost revitalizes and inspires the people watching them just because of the aura they give here. So this is the energy that I'm picking up for this Divine Masculine. This is Eight of Pentacles coming up under the Wheel of Fortune. So you definitely manifested this as Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy, but the Eight of Pentacles in this deck always gives me the energy of the moon and the phases of the moon here. We are entering our Cancer full moon here, which will be burning off away all emotional baggage here. So this could be what's happening here. Something is being burned off and you're learning what you truly have to give is something a divine masculine or a divine feminine would be honored to have here. And you, you now know that, Leo. But I am picking up on energy of contemplation. Yeah, we got two of pentacles here. This is contemplation and juggling here. This came over the, the king of wands and the queen of swords. So this is contemplation over finances. Remember, take what resonates, leave what doesn't, because you could be in this relationship or this could be something that resonates from what's going to transpire soon. I'm reading for a lot of general public people here, so... Take what resonates, okay? If you want a personal, hit me on that email below. I got you on a personal, okay? We got Nine of Pentacles here showing up. We got the Two of Swords showing up here. And it speaks of decisions and needing to discern and use the discernment here to make decisions. We do have the King of Wands showing up again here. I'm going to pull this one out here. Top of the deck is the Four of Swords here. I won't pull it out, but I'll read it. And Four of Swords speaks of laying shit to rest here. Truly he healing because you have to lay things to rest here. Leo, there could be a problem with your throat chakra. I haven't had problems reading pretty much all week until this very reading here. So your throat chakra is definitely blocked. Make sure to carry some blue fluoride. Make sure to carry aquamarine. Make sure to carry lapis lazuli, especially will open up your throat chakra here. There's something about the throat chakra and needing to speak up and needing to own your decisions, needing to really choose a path here. This King of Wands is waiting is what I just heard. Leo, you could be the King of Wands waiting here for these decisions to be made. This is air energy, but this is the King of Wands showing up twice here. Leo, you're definitely showing up strong, strong in your thought process, strong in your intuition. Maybe this juggling here is whether the ship sails to leave, whether the ship sails to stay. What I do know about you for sure, Leo, is you are the star. This is Aquarius energy. You could have an Aquarius sun, moon, and rising here. I just heard Venus as well. But Leo, this coming over the Five of Swords and the Nine of Cups is definitely giving me faith, hope having faith that there is a clearer picture, there is an answer, there is a decision to be made, but it's going to benefit me. I'm getting the energy of following the North Star here, following your path, 
trusting your gut, trusting your intuition, trusting that spirit is with you right now in this moment, helping you make these decisions. But you are a star, you are special, and you are healing. The star speaks of Aquarius energy, and Aquarius energy in its most evolved state heals and knows how to heal using the power and the gift of detachment. Learning how to temper the waters and bear them, observe them, feel them through. And then you learn to articulate them eventually. So maybe that's what this throat chakra energy is learning to articulate your emotions, Leo. This could be something you're working on right now. We do have the nine of pentacles showing up over the ten. Uh, uh, the ten, which is the wheel of fortune here. And the eight of pentacles. And the ten in major arcana, I mean. With the nine of pentacles, there is success financially for sure the decisions you make leo definitely lead you to financial stability and independence however i am not seeing much of a relationship coming up from of the first few months and leo what i'm picking up on is because you're probably not wanting to embark on too much of the relationship life because like i just heard earlier that shit's for the birds that could be something that you're definitely thinking because she happens to be holding a bird here too which is a crow so you're definitely protected here your ancestors are definitely trying to if you've been seeing crows lately don't feel negative about it yeah we have signs coming out here wow and grounded we have signs and grounded coming out for you here leo so take the signs for what they are, spirit says. Nothing is perfect, but everything comes in perfect timing. Whoa, spirit definitely gave that to you here. I have 22 coming up in your reading, Leo. Two of Pentacles and the Two of Swords here. So you could be seeing 2-2 two, two, or 20, 22. Or you could be seeing 2-2-2. Two, two, two. Remember, 20-22 could still be 222 two, two. when you see those numbers and there's a zero it still would give you the same vibrational energy if not sometimes even more powerful than a 333 three, three, or 444 four, four. so if you're seeing 440 it's still powerfully 444 four, four at the end of the day just so you know okay these are just little things spirit wants me to tell somebody out there that was at one two three four someone who's on their spiritual journey barely beginning here Maybe that's why you're having problems with your throat chakra. You're finally learning how to speak on your, your emotions here. So Leo, you're learning how to step up, stand up for yourself as well. That's what I'm picking up on. These are all general messages here. Picking up on a lot of different people. And Leo energy, you know, right now, it seems a little, a little off, a little sad. Maybe you're not showing this to people. Leo energy usually doesn't. <laughs> I'm a Leo rising, y'all, so I can really vouch that. You wouldn't show really when you're going through something, but you definitely would let the people you love know by kindly stepping away is what I just heard. Yeah, look, wow, we have energetic clearing. Energetic clearing. During crises, the, the Holy One herself may be emptying you of fear and attachments, preparing you to receive the luminous plan. Leo, we've got gratitude and divine flow. So something about gratitude and divine flow here for you. I just wanted to pull some messages there from the Oracle. With this divine flow, though, there is definitely something about butterflies. Look at that. Your ancestors or some sort of family member is coming through here. We got dragonflies coming through again. I'm just spotting this as I'm reading for you, Leo. So butterflies and dragonflies could be super significant for you. Something about emotional maturity wow leo look at that we got the ten of pentacles and the six of pentacles your money is on lock leo whoever you're dating if you're already dating someone leo they got a lot of money go figure <laughs> go figure leo let's close out here for love what is this energy here with queen of swords and king of wands as the Divine Feminine Depicted Spirit is owning her independence. Is love in the picture here between these two? We we'll wanted to come out. We do have the Queen of Wands coming out now. Wow, Leo could be speaking to a Leo Divine Feminine. 
Wow, or you could have Sagittarius or Aries in your chart too. But I definitely getting the Queen of, of Wands coming out as a yes. There is some divine connection here. Wow, the Eight of Wands. You're going to receive connection about this very soon. That's Leo energy. Wow, Leo energy with the sun. So Spirit is telling me. Thank you, Spirit. Whoa. Spirit is telling me we've got the Two of Swords coming up again. So you got 222 in your reading. Search up 222 here. Look at this. We've got two of swords, two of swords, two of pentacles. So you got two, two, two showing up for you here. Leo. With the two of swords, you're definitely contemplating moving on or moving forward here. Or there is some sort of intuition coming in. Spirit is talking to you with the page of cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. You're receiving messages here. You're receiving nudges. I, I want to say that there's a family member that really is coming through here in this reading. I've been trying to ignore it because I don't like to touch on family unless I know for sure. I'm very respectful of that type of energy. I would never speak on it unless I knew. But there's a family member coming through, Leo. And they're definitely like in an energetic way kind of nudging you on the head like, listen, we're trying to speak to you is what I just heard here. They could be trying to send you some sort of message about love or how to use your self-love to manifest this healing of this relationship if this is a healing that needs to happen or a reconnection to build a stronger, I heard, a stronger vision here. This King of Wands and, and Queen of Swords here could be really having different visions of life here. Although they're both successful and going to create success for themselves, I am hearing that there is one divine feminine that's going to be set free in this process. However, it will be up to the divine feminine to choose to move forward or not. Because the divine masculine definitely is waiting on this energy to move forward here. This Leo divine masculine energy is definitely waiting to move forward. I'm just calling out the energies. I do not know who I'm reading for. I don't read for Leos too often. <laughs> but I was super called to read for Leo now. So even if this resonates with one person... I would definitely love to do a personal reading for you. I'm starting to do love readings more so now that spirit is calling me forth to do so as I've done a lot of work the last three years on my heart chakra. So Leo, definitely. Sorry, Leo, we were cut off, but I did definitely want to tell you that there is some sort of nudge here to have faith. Look at that. We've got the Empress here to have faith here in love for you. The Empress represents Venus energy, which is love. So just know that there definitely is some love here for you. But spirit is telling me that if you are the divine feminine in this equation, you the decision and the ball is in your court. Wow. So we have 2222 showing up. You have 2222 showing up in your reading. So many twos. So many twos. This is about love. This is about self-love. This is about having two energies and learning how to unify them this is within the self and then learning how to project that into your love life here but with the high priestess this is pisces energy pisces sun moon and rising here could be a pisces venus as well but i am picking up on pisces showing up over the wheel of fortune the eight of pentacles and the knight of pentacles here the nine of pentacles here your intuition has been kicking you in the forehead <laughs> Leo, it's time is what I just heard. It's time to choose what is right for you. It's time to step forward. It's time to know that you have earned this love that's coming into your life. It's time to know that you don't have to be in fear of the decisions that you make. You don't have to be in fear of things failing, of you falling on your face because you, Leo, are protected in this lifetime to live out happiness and to show the world around you how happiness can truly be amplified here through love, through the heart chakra. That was at 144. I love you, Leo. If this reading resonates, please take it. If it doesn't, please be kind and leave it alone for others that it's meant for. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much, Leo. Have a great night. Peace.